good evening friends so today i am going to show you how to check this attachment because this is the genetic attachment from metronic uh, so many surgeons are using this but uh, most of the time uh, OT people or technicians who are cleaning you know who are maintaining they doesn't know how to maintain this because this is very 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 essential tool for doing genetomy it is purely based on our maintenance okay so i'm just going to show you how to maintain it so initially when to when you are using a new tool no need to check it because it is a new tool but this is something like a used tool so sometime maybe two or three times so i'm just inserting it before doing uh, uh, connected to the motor first insert the tool and check whether it is going to the tip of the footed thing okay always have a habit to insert the tool before continue to the motor okay this is very important so now it is going freely but you can see this it is it has some small uh, rust kind of things but it is going working good uh, these are the tools also same you can see this it is going inside it is working fine so now this kind of tools you can use but now you can see this tool you see that it is very polished one but here you can see that black line okay there only the tool will be getting bulged due to bearing uh, like bearing getting rusted or sometimes tool may get um, like a bulge due to some recycling okay at the moment don't insert the tool see i'm just inserting here it is not at all going inside in the first step itself it is jammed here because this ring shows that here the tool was getting bulged so it is not going inside okay so those things don't supposed to use okay so very important one Sometimes you have a, if you don't have a tool, you have a 15 15 centimeter tool. Just put it inside, and you can check whether attachment is working or not. So like that, you can rotate and you can check. Okay. Sometimes you feel that some uh, like a friction, then you can use this uh, spray, and just little bit spray here, and little bit spray here. That is enough. Okay. So like that, you can spray, and then you can use. These are the things: spraying, cleaning, and all everything you have to do post surgery okay don't do it during the surgery before or before the surgery okay so this uh, becomes unsterile so post surgery first thing you have to do don't soak this attachment in any water okay if you soak the attachment water pen uh, it will get rusted over here inside okay all the barriers will get damaged and it will, uh, it will be you have to send to some for service that is very important one so always take some distilled water just syringe it or you can show running RO water and uh, use this kind of brush okay just clean it out so if you insert it now very soft bristle smaller size if you insert it you can see that this side is coming so you have to clean it properly and then you have to make it dry that is very important one for that simple this buy this kind of uh, hair dryer the small budget only 300 or 400 500 rupees only so just buy this and just you can make it dry so that it will get immediately dry so once it is getting dry after that you have to spray that is very important okay so with wetness don't lubricate that is very important okay so after drying just spray and you can send for surgery or uh, it your sterilization okay after sterilization you can uh, use directly no issues but uh, sterilization also always uh, suggest to use autoclave or eto don't do any formalin chamber or any situs liquid dipping and all so this will damage the internal bearings and internal spare parts okay thank you